as we all know, everything, absolutely everything in this world is made of atoms, thanks to English chemist John Dalton. Born on the 6th of September, year 1766, died 27th of July, 1844. May he rest in peace. In the earlier years of scientific exploration, the atom was thought to be the smallest element known to man. But man knew too little. We discovered nuclei, protons, electrons. Man still knew too little. We then discovered leptons, quarks, then prions, and so many more. I'm beginning to think that man knows not much and too little. Anywho, today we'll be talking about the quantum mechanical model of atomic structure. What's the quantum mechanical model, you ask? Well, the quantum mechanical model is the most accurate atomic structure model that I am aware of. But I'm torn between the quantum mechanical model and the Bohr model. The quantum mechanical model is an atomical model that's derived from the Schrodinger wave equation. This model predicts what the electron cloud looks like, its interaction with other electrons, and where they can be found with the help of complex equations and computer software. Basically, it uses a little something called quantum numbers. The first three of them will determine what the orbital looks like. First, we have n, which represents the size of the orbital and its electrons. Then we have l, which represents the shape of the orbital. It's either an s, p, d, or f. m sub l for the orientation of the orbital. And lastly, m sub s for the spin of the electrons. It can only be either counterclockwise or clockwise. Prior to the quantum mechanical model, we had the shell model. And no, it's not the patrol station. The shell model is based on Coulomb's law. It predicted where the electrons will be. It was great at making predictions, but it relied more on probability than certainty. So then we moved on to the quantum mechanical model. 